2018 Ford Edge Review. The 2018 Ford Edge is a handsome mid-size SUV that can comfortably hold four or five people and their belongings. Above average scores across the board earn it a spot in the top third of our rankings. Is the Ford Edge a good SUV? In the mid-size SUV segment, the Edge is a prime choice. It achieves very good scores in every category we evaluate, and it stands out from its rivals by showcasing a premium interior and a history of above-average reliability. Should I buy the Ford Edge? If you want more cargo room than most compact SUVs can offer, and you don't need third-row seats, you should consider a Ford Edge. With a spacious interior and an attractive list of available safety features, the Edge earns high marks among families. The nearly identical 2017 Model 1 Our Best Midsize SUV for Families Award. Its smooth, quiet ride and above average fuel economy also make the Edge a comfortable daily driver. Other similarly sized crossover SUVs worth considering include the Nissan Murano. Kia Sorento, and Hyundai Santa Fe. The smaller Santa Fe Sport has two rows, while the larger Santa Fe has three. We did the research for you. 21 reviews analyzed. You can find everything you need to know about the Edge in our comprehensive overview. It includes details like safety ratings and features, as well as the findings of 21 professional Ford Edge reviews. Ford redesigned the Edge for the 2015 model year. There have been few major changes since then, so our overview incorporates applicable data and reviews from the 2015 through 2018 model years. Why you can trust us? The US News Best Cars team has been ranking cars for nearly a decade, and our editors, writers, and analysts have more than 75 years of combined experience in the automotive industry. To keep our recommendations unbiased, we don't accept expensive trips or gifts from car companies, and a third party handles all of the advertising on our site. How much does the Ford Edge cost? To buy a new Ford Edge, plan to spend at least $29,200, the MSRP for the base SE trim. That's pretty close to the average starting price of a midsize SUV. In